usually expect to find him playing guitar in front of thousands of headbanging heavy metal fans, alongside the Prince of Darkness Ozzy Osbourne as part of the band Black Sabbath. He's currently in the middle of a world tour, but today, one of the founding fathers of heavy metal, rock icon Tony Iommi, attended a formal graduation ceremony at Coventry University. It is here he received an honorary doctorate of arts, recognising him for his contribution to the world of popular music. He's been called many things over the course of his incredible career, and now he can add doctor to the list. Coventry University, by decision of the academic board, has the privilege of conferring the degree of Doctor of Arts, honoris causa, on Tony Iommi. Hi Tony. Hello. Is it still Tony or would you rather be called Dr. Tony Iommi now? <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be very different. It's a good, good stage name. Yeah, Dr. Tony. So firstly, how does it feel to be receiving the doctorate? Fantastic. I mean, what can you say? It's, uh, it's a great honour. I'm very, very proud to receive it. So you, you didn't go to university. Did you ever think you'd be receiving a, a degree for your music? No, I'd never thought that. And uh, it would be almost great now to go back to my school, which is not there anymore, and say, look, <laughs> they'd always say, oh, you're never going to do anything. You know, you'll never do anything with your life. Me and Ozzy, they, they said that too. And we were both at the same school. Why do you think it was you in particular who was nominated for this? Uh, probably because I've done most of the writing and most of the uh, things for the band and, and been with the band from the off, you know. Do you think this will show people to take heavy metal music more seriously now? Well, I mean, I think people do. Heavy metal music is, is all a big patch of uh, rock music and it's all the same sort of thing. It depends on how far you go with heavy metal. Some of them are called heavy metal, which is really outrageous. But I don't class ourselves as fully heavy metal. It's more rock, rock heavy metal. What do you think's been the key to your success? Hard work, really, and determination. You've got to have the determination and, and, and work hard at it and, and believe in what you do, and that's always been my thing, is to believe in what I do and, and play and love what I do and be, be true to it. And uh, do you think the rest of the band are going to be envious of you? Probably. No, they've been great. They've really been supportive and we're really, you know, glad that I got this and really proud of me. Even Aussie? Absolutely, yeah. And you're heading straight back to Helsinki tonight? Are you going to be celebrating your doctorate? Are you going to be wearing your gown on stage? I'm going to, yeah, that'd be it, wouldn't it? Yeah, we're going to Helsinki tonight and uh, I'm meeting my daughter, actually, because she lives there. So my wife and myself uh, meet her and then I get, I've got rehearsals. So it's going to be a busy evening all round, yeah. This all came about when Jeff Wilcox, Head of Performing Arts at Coventry University, nominated Tony Iommi for the honorary degree. When you think about the West Midlands as a whole, um, and what the West Midlands has produced culturally, um, Tony Iommi is, is clearly at the top of that list. Uh, he creates the form back in the late 60s, early 70s of heavy metal, which is now a global form. You find it in all corners uh, of the world and has been absorbed into all uh, types of, of music. And it started here. Tony created that form here in, in the West Midlands. So it, is, it was a great honour today to be able to uh, recognise his contribution, as I say, not only to music but also to culture as a whole. In terms of the, the music performance course that we, we have here, I think it was great to have Tony here validating the, the, the work that we, that we do, specifically in terms of the, of the rock work uh, that we do. Uh, the music performance course that we offer here is what we call non doctrinal so it means that uh, whatever your instrument or whatever genre of music you study or play, you can come and study here. And there's great benefits to be had uh, from that for our students who, from all different types of style, from classical pianists and violinists through to rock guitarists, progressive rock, heavy metal, uh, are all working together and learning from each other and learning from each other's different styles and styles of play. Um, and Tony coming here today was, was a great validation of the work that we do. I, I think Tony's been an inspiration to, to all of us. As I say, when you look at his, his body of work and what he's, what he's contributed to, to our culture, I think if, you, uh, if, you had, if he didn't exist, you'd have to invent him. He was an absolute legend and a complete gent as well. He was, he was wonderful. He spoke to the students for quite a long time and they were thrilled by that and he spoke to the staff uh, as well. He was obviously very thrilled at receiving, receiving the award and um, he had a great time, I think. I'm surprised you didn't 
give, give him a guitar, get him to rock a solo up on the, <laughs> that would have been the great. cathedral. <laughs> that would have been in the cathedral, that would have been amazing. Uh, but maybe, maybe one day he'll come back and he can do that for us. Well, thank you, Jeff. Thank you. With his new title of Doctor, Tony Iommi headed straight from the ceremony to Helsinki to join Black Sabbath and begin the European and final leg of the world tour. Zane Lucali, Coventry TV.